Hi everyone, Vegetable Man here. Today we've got a replay in the HMS Hood Tier 6 Premium Royal Navy Battleship. One of my favourite ships ever historically. I'm not sure why, I mean it wasn't exactly a successful ship. Probably just the looks, I think. That really low freeboard at the back and still having that high conning tower. Uh, she's a good ship in game, there's no doubt about that. Very, uh, very good side armour, uh, belt armour, so if you angle properly uh, you can take a lot of damage and you've got really good firing angles as well to go with that. Decent guns, you're a cruiser killer. Um, I'm fairly sure, I haven't seen the numbers to back it up, but I'm almost 100% sure you've got the uh, the long, the short fuse time, sorry, for the AP shells, which means they arm uh, faster than normal battleship shells, so you should see less overpins against cruisers and more citadels and normal penetrations. Whereas when you're shooting battleships, you'll probably see a bit less, a few less citadel hits and a few target. more, uh, more normal penetrations. Uh, hoods fast, and uh, and you've got hydro as well, which so that's a, a differentiator from the PC version. You've got that hydro, which you need. You're a very long ship. Um, you've got quite a fast, quite a fast rudder shift time, but a long turning circuit and you're a long ship, so you're quite vulnerable to being torpedoed. Uh, so that hydro is really, really handy. You're, you're a good ship to get on a flank, uh, really. And you can look after yourself, the hydro, a couple of shots there at Leander, and bringing my back guns around and firing them as well. So I'm I'm kind of willing to push a little bit into this cap here or towards the cap because of the hydro that I have. So if a destroyer comes in I can I can pop the hydro and, and be a bit safer. You can see we've only got one destroyer on our team, so it is important that we push the other cap and either try and prevent them from capping or even take it ourselves. There's a few ships out the side majority of the team's on the other side but there's only three of us on the side as well from our team so uh, I'm going to keep pushing here and trying to protect this cap. That end is still there smoking up he's obviously planning to rain down a bit of fire on our battleship that's got him sort of self he's sort of wedged there um, between the island and so he's going to be under a lot of fire from that Leander for quite a long time there's no real targets of opportunity for me at the moment, so I'm pushing into the cap. I am spotted. Uh, it could be by that KGV or another Leander. Concentrate fire on the Looking enemy around, warship. can I shoot the Mahan? Not really. I don't really want to shoot the bow on KGV, but unfortunately after exhausting all options, that's it, that's the shot I'm gonna take. And just going to, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to push towards where the Leander is and then I'm gonna slow down and angle to the KGB. I'm just trying to position myself. He's not even looking at me anyway, so I'm not worried. I wasn't worried about showing him broadside or anything like that, and I'm still not worried. But I just wanna be in a position where I can control any engagement over the end of the year. Now I'm almost capped, so I'm now going to go and fight them. So I've turned my guns, locked them as I turn, and I'm going to position myself to shoot them as I kind of do a bit of a drive-by. I've got my Hydro if they launch torps, which I'm sure they will. Sorry, it's not two Leanders, it's one Leander and one York. I'm going to try and fire a shot against them. They probably won't make it over the island here. Yeah, I decided not to in the end. That Leander's still firing on the smoke. And I should... Yeah, there we go. Hydro's up in case he's launched torpedoes because I am spotted. So there's a good chance he's launched torpedoes and I'm ready to crack a shot at him if he gets spotted, which I think he should do due to the smoke firing penalty. I'm not quite sure if I'm close enough there actually, maybe I should have gone closer. Nope, there he is. And pop off the salvo against him. And one devastating strike, and there you go. Two citadels, and he's gone. With other battleships, you might have seen some overpins there. Leander is quite squishy, but because of that squishiness, sometimes at that close range, your armor-piercing shells will just go straight through. And uh, you only get overpin damage, which can be very unsatisfying at times. But as you can see there, Hood's, Hood's an excellent cruiser killer. So we've taken the cap. 
which is perfect. The enemy team still hasn't taken the other cap, so right now we're two ships up and two caps to one. So it's a really solid start. Oh, I see the destroyer. I'm fairly confident I'm not going to get my guns around in time to shoot him. So I start turning instead of trying to turn my guns. Pop up a shot against this York. Normally I would try and shoot that. Um, there he goes, another really good set of hits there. See, normal penetrations just do so much damage. Normally I try and shoot that destroyer, but I really didn't think I'd get my guns turned around in time. Still heading in towards this KGB. He might actually be AFK. I don't know, I haven't seen him firing. Uh, and he's still sitting in the same spot with his guns pointing the other direction. Didn't try and reset the cap or anything, so he's probably AFK. Okay. I'm really waiting to see this York. I, I would love to finish him off. He's low health. It's important to finish off low health targets. Looks like potentially the enemy's going to take the B cap, and we're now even on ships, so this game is anything but one. A secondary start firing. You don't have great secondaries on the hood. They're, they're not terrible, but they're not great. Oh, there's the York. Try and fire off another salvo. That was awful. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> like, uh, anyway, he dies. That's the bottom thing. <laughs> Must have had a bit of a bit of butterfingers going on. Now my next target's going to be the KGV. I lock my guns. Just having a quick look around. I think he's AFK, so I'm just going to drive straight by, not a worry in the world. Shoot straight into, I'm going to try shooting this broadside, waiting until I get a bit better angle, until I get really full broadside to him. And see there, six normal pens, no citadels, normally you get citadels from a battleship there, but that's okay, it still did a lot of damage. One thing I could have done there is you don't need to aim in when you're that close and in fact sometimes it messes with the aim. You're better off just to use this view, aim your guns and shoot without using the binocular view. You see I'm turning now, I'm just going to let my secondaries go to work on the KGB. They've set them on fire again, I want to kill that Mahan now. We're actually a ship down. Uh, we are contesting this cap so they're still not gaining any additional points on us. but. Um, this is, this is yeah, only, unfortunately, only one hit there, that's a bit unfortunate. A KGV is definitely going down, whether it's by me or someone else. Uh, and it takes him down. And we're going to hopefully finish this Mahan off now. The secondaries are going to work on him. And we take him down. That was a lot better. Now we're a ship up, you can see how quickly we can change, and we're now taking this cap. I slow down. What I was hoping to do there was to use the KGV as a barrier uh, to not be talked. Unfortunately, I didn't slow down early enough. I, I had the right idea, I just didn't execute it very well. So you can use sinking ships to your advantage like that. Um, I, so I deliberately went around behind him to give myself a particular barrier, but uh, yeah, I just didn't, didn't quite play it right. Problem solved, sir. Only three ships left on their team now. I'm going to push as fast as I can. Try and get a few more shots off before the end of the game. And we're going to take this cap as well. Two shots fired on the QE there. I, you'll notice I haven't fired any HE, so unlike pretty much every other British battleship, it's not worth firing by explosive. Uh, the gun, the it's it's not as good as the Nelson or the uh, Tech Tree Line British battleships, and the AP is really good. You've got quite accurate guns as well, so you're better off just instead of firing HE in almost every circumstance. Maybe if that KGB had been not AFK when he was bow on before, I might have resorted to uh, HE, but he would win that fight. Not the most interesting events, unfortunately. Sometimes that happens in these games. 
the game is pretty well sorted now. Even though we've got four ships to their three, um, we've got all their caps. So they're, they're only one ship down, but we've got all their caps and their Queen Elizabeth's almost dead. So I'm going to swing around here and probably beach myself in a bid to get that last shot away. Make sure that guy dies. Oh, he's dead. That's perfect. You run aground. The camera does the weird thing that the camera does. I might just skip through here until it gets interesting again. Okay, we just skipped a couple of head, minutes ahead here. Uh, Arizona's almost dead. Okay, Suki's still full health. You can see he's firing a few talks off. Torpedoes to port. Uh, we've actually lost another ship. So it's now two ships to three again. So we've still got a one ship advantage and we now have caps. So. <laughs> We're still not going to lose this game. I'm going to try and kill that destroyer though. That'd be a really satisfying way to end the game. Pop my hydro. There's a good chance he's popping through that gap, I think. So we'll be ready for that. Battleship's hiding in the smoke. Let's see if we can finish off this Akatsuki. Now the plus side of that uh, short fuse type AP is that Again, you'll get a few more. Oh, we're now two ships to two, so you see it can turn quite quickly. Uh, the short fuse timer is that it can also get lead to four pins against um, against destroyers. Arizona pops up again, slowing down and angling in. Arizona could really hurt me, actually. Um, the hood, well, while you've got great side armor, uh, that's all well and good unless you are, if, if you're full broadside, that side armor is going to do you nothing, and the hood's actually got quite a big citadel. I do have quite a bit of free health, so I'm willing to sacrifice a bit there, which I do, and uh, unfortunately, I've only got some shadows there. The game ends anyway, time's out. Uh, have a look at the results screen here. It's a good chunk of XP. Uh, I was running some lags here. Two kills, one capture, two assist and captures, so the base XP is going to be pretty high. And there we have 3,400 base XP. So that, that's a pretty good game. And that was really uh, unusual to be capping, I guess, in the, the bat battleship. But you can really see there why the hood has some tools to be able to do things like that with the hydro and the, the fast speed is that you can do things like pull that game back where we probably would have lost it if I hadn't taken those caps. We'll have a look at my commando, I'm running John Jellico. Um, and we actually will have a look at the upgrades first quickly. Uh, they're pretty standard upgrades on a battleship to be honest, there's nothing too exciting here. Aiming system is mod one to give me the better dispersion. It's not worth, as I said, the secondaries are okay, but they're not great, so it's not worth taking those. And I don't want to have better turret because at the cost of reload. Damage control system mod 2, no brainer. I think I say this every time. There's no other option for your battleship in my mind. And in the third slot, the only thing you can slot. Target acquisition system mod 1. Which also helps with that torpedo detectability, which as I mentioned is quite critical. Look at John Jellico and how I have him set up. I actually change this quite a bit, but this is how I have the particular setup really for a lot of repair party or hood doesn't actually have the super repair that the other british battleships have uh, i've got willis lee and takagi as the inspirations there so i've got a real kind of i guess you'd say tank build um we've got chance of fire being caused by he shells actually that's because i was last using uh Jellico and the nelson but the other two options aren't great either so it's one of those things better torpedo detectability in the second slot uh, I mentioned it a few times now, it's a good thing to have. Um, faster shell switch, as I said again, I've had it in the Nelson, there might be better options for the hood. Uh, range of main guns increase, that's always a plus. And in the final slot, where I have legendary one for John Jellico, we have plus one consumable charges, so that's plus one heal, plus one hydro, so that's really handy to have, especially I think that plus one hydro. Anyway, that was the hood, like I said, one of my favourite ships of all time. I hope you enjoyed that replay and I'll catch you next time.